Imagine living out your fantasy to sail off into the sunset or your child's dream of being a pirate on the high seas. Sound good? Well, it's all possible in Rockland, Maine, aboard the schooner Nathaniel Bowditch. Just bring a sense of adventure, they provide the wind. It's been a long time since Jill Frank has been on vacation. Probably too long. I really, really needed a vacation. <laughs> so for this trip, Jill wanted to choose a vacation that would give her some much needed rest while allowing her some bonding time with her son, Stuart, as they share this once in a lifetime adventure. Stuart and I have a very special bond. He's the love of my life and just thought this would be a great vacation to get a little bonding in, just he and I. The day started just after sunrise with the first event, breakfast. Fresh blueberries. This morning, Stuart woke up and came up and wanted to get his clothes on right away and hang out with the kids. Um, I thought I was not going to make any friends at first. So when I got here, I, I saw lots of kids and I made friends really quick. A starfish, I caught it with a fishing pole hook. I chose this vacation to just kind of get away from the monotony of every day. You're not attached to the land. You just have what's on the boat. You need to work along as a team to help out. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> We're not at work. <laughs> We're at a good work. That's right. That's right. Once you get on board in the first 20 minutes that you're sailing away, you're like, oh boy, what, what's going to happen next? When I say turn to port, you're going to take the wheel and turn it that way, okay? Owen Dorr is the captain of the schooner Nathaniel Bowditch. This is a vacation where you, it can be as much as you want it to be. You can help haul on the sails and uh, you can also steer the vessel or even go down in the galley and bake cookies with the cooking. Even with all the opportunities to pitch in, Jill still managed to find some time to relax and get some rest. I've been able to kick back and read a book a little bit and talk with some of the other passengers and just kind of have some alone me time, knowing that he was having a good time with the other kids and uh, enjoying himself as well. Hit that button and it goes. The people on the boat are fantastic, and they're all from different parts of the country. Um, so it's just nice to kick back and relax and, and hear a little bit about another place, about another family, um, different vacations that they've taken. Swing and hook! The crew has been a lot of fun. They really know their stuff. They've been fantastic with the kids. Some of the crew were teaching all the kids how to do a bunch of nautical knots, so he got into that. Then they got to churn and make their own ice cream, so he was a bit of the commander on, on churning the ice cream maker. Stand by to strike the headsoles. Daddy by headsoles! <laughs> Two years ago, I probably would have said all of those people that were doing that were a little crazy jumping off the end of that boat. One, go! <laughs> I said I'm going to go for it, and I think that's what I did. <laughs> After a full day of sun, fun, swimming and sailing, it was time to board a much smaller vessel for a tasty treat. I think we're heading over for a nice lobster bake. <laughs> Yummy! Look at those babies. When I leave here, it'll just give me the energy and boost that I need to say, okay, we need to start taking vacations like that. More raspberries all in here. Look at these ones oh. right in here. There you go. It looks like Jill has struck gold on this high seas voyage. She was able to chill out, do a little work on the boat, and most importantly, create memories that she and Stuart will treasure forever. Good. I think the memories are gonna be long lasting. Stuart and I hopefully will be able to do a lot of reflecting back on the, the photos and hopefully that'll continue to carry us through in the next 20 years.